The Names of Jesus Advent Devotion Day 22 Mediator by Natty Severson For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2.5 The Old Testament story of Job can be confusing. Job was a man who God himself describes as blameless and upright, a man who fears God and shuns evil. God even went as far as to say that there is no one else like Job on the earth. And yet, God allowed Job to experience intense suffering. Not just the, I had a bad day and now I don't have time to relax and get hours of sleep kind of suffering. Job's suffering was the, Everything I own got destroyed, all my children died, and my body is racked with painful sores, I scrape with broken pottery kind of suffering. Truly, this human life can't get much worse than that. There are many chapters devoted to dialogue between Job and his friends as they try to make sense of this situation. As a group, they can't wrap their heads around the idea that God is just, Job was blameless, and yet somehow Job still suffered immensely. To these men, these three facts couldn't live in tension. And so a debate began among them. Which of these three facts isn't true? Job's friends insist that he must have sinned to deserve such punishment. Job denies having sinned in such a way that this type of punishment was warranted. After many exhausting and frustrating exchanges between the men, God entered the discussion in a big way, asking, Who is this that obscures my plans with words without knowledge? Job 38.2 God then goes on to ask over 140 questions, none of which Job actually answers. God poses these questions to highlight to Job that his wisdom and plan stretches further than Job can possibly fathom. When Job does dare to speak, he says, I know that you can do all things. No purpose of yours can be thwarted. You asked, who is this that obscures my plans without knowledge? Surely I spoke of things I did not understand, things too wonderful for me to know. Job 42 2 through 3. Why talk about Job at Christmas? In the midst of his desperation and suffering, Job cries out to be heard by God. In chapter 9, Job says, If only there were someone to mediate between us, someone to bring us together, someone to remove God's rod from me, so that his terror would frighten me no more. Then I would speak up without fear of him. But as it stands now with me, I cannot. Job 9, 33 through 35. On that first Christmas morning, a mediator was born. He came into the world to do what Job wanted. On the cross, Jesus removed God's rod from us and has allowed us to draw near to God without fear. For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. 1 Timothy 2.5 In the midst of your suffering and the frustrations of this world, remember, you have a God who deeply loves you. In fact, he loves you so dearly that he sent his only son to die as that mediator between us and himself.